Hey guys, it's Lori at ArtandDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you how to create this really simple cactus t-shirt or sticker, badge, whatever design in Inkscape. So let's get started. You'll see I've grabbed a picture for reference and some designs I've already made. This one I used with the calligraphic pen tool. I used, I used marker at 15th width. Uh, I didn't really do too much with the settings. Um, you can play around with that if you like that effect, but for the, this tutorial I'm going to use the pen tool because I found this really difficult to draw straight. Okay, so let's zoom in on this photograph. And it's mostly for reference because it's actually really simple to draw. Uh, I'm not actually going to go as tall as this one, but let's get started. So I'll click and basically I'm just going to do the center object here, the center stock, whatever it's called. And I'll zoom in here. I'm going to come up to the middle and I'm just going to click and pull. Zoom out. And then Shift and L to get our corner. Click to the end. And again, I'm going to zoom in. Maybe about here, click and pull. So it's nice and smooth and I'll press shift L to get my corner back and I'll come across in the middle here and I'll click and pull until the red and the green is smooth. Do you see that? The red and the green line and I'll click about here and something like that. Shift L to get the corner and back to the beginning. And I'm doing this in pieces because if I do that then I can really easily create three different cactuses just by moving the arms. Uh, I don't like, I don't know if I like the little stubby on this one. Um, I might just draw it a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to select all three objects here. I'm going to fill them in black. I'll press Shift and X to get rid of the stroke. And then I'm going to get rid of this photograph. Let's just move it over. So now we have this cactus to work with. If you don't like how it turned out, you just go to the Nodes tool and just move the nodes around till you... till you do like it. Okay, uh, I'm not going to fuss with it too much. It just makes the tutorial very long. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this. Control D to duplicate. I'll move it over. And I'm just going to shift the arm up a little bit. And then I'll duplicate this again. Control D. And I'll delete this arm. I'll duplicate this arm. And then I'll use this button here and I'll flip it. Press Control, make it go nice and straight. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one too. I'll control D to duplicate that. And I'll just make this one smaller. Okay, and I'm actually going to move them all upwards a little bit. Just so we have a taller bottom portion. Just using control so it goes up nice and straight. Okay, so then when we're satisfied, let's go path and union. Path, union, path, union. I want this one in the middle and I want it to be a little bit bigger, taller than the other two. Okay, zoom out a little bit going to align them at the bottom and then I'm going to space them out evenly and that may change when we when we uh, make our half circle. Okay so let's go to the circles tool let's press shift and control create a perfectly round circle let's grab the squares and rectangles tool and we'll make a rectangle doesn't matter what size different color so we can see what we're doing and we'll duplicate it control D to duplicate this yellow object and I'm going to turn these snaps on so I want it to snap to itself, press shift, select them both and we'll group them. 
and let's uh, let's select both the black object and the yellow object and we'll align them vertically and horizontally and then we'll click off the graphic select the yellow object on group and the purpose of this is to find the exact half point of the circle uh, it doesn't really matter if it's exact it's uh, just a matter of preference, I guess. So we found our exact point of the half point. We're gonna to go to intersection because what we want is this intersecting piece. Path, intersection, okay? Um, and then we also want to put some stripes in here. So let's grab the rectangle tool. I'll zoom in here. And our snaps are still on. I'm gonna turn them off in a second. Uh, right now, actually. Let's turn those off. They'll get in the way. So, Control D to duplicate. I'm going to press Control and I'm going to go up. Uh, just a little bit of space. Uh, maybe a bit more. Not that much. Okay, Control D will duplicate again. Press Shift and select all three yellow objects. We're going to space them out evenly. And then I'm going to go Path, Union. Now I want this to be the same size as this, or same height, sorry. So let's select the height of the uh, half circle. And go to pixels, press control C to copy the height, and then cl click on the uh, rectangles, and we'll make the height the same. Control V is to paste, press enter. And press shift to select both objects, and we'll center them vertically and horizontally. I'm going to bring the opacity down on this, on the Fill and Stroke tab, just so I can see. Yep, yeah, that, that looks like it's right. Okay, so let's drop this to the bottom. And let's select this circle here, press Shift, and we'll select the stripes, and we'll go Path, Intersection. Okay, so there's our stripes. Let's go Path, Object to Path, create an object. I'll bring the opacity back up. And that's a very bright yellow, so I'm going to press F7 to get the dropper and choose something from my color panel here. This one. Okay. okay, so after we color it, we're going to go path and we're gonna break it apart. So we have different uh, sections that we can color. So let's go to, I'm gonna choose F7, our dropper tool, click F7. Actually, we'll select one at a time here. So the second object, F7, to get the dropper, we're going to choose our colors. And the third one, I chose navy blue. It's a good idea to have colors selected ahead of time. Um, it's just a color palette that I dragged over from Illustrator. And uh, it imports as an image. Okay, so now we have our colors. Let's grab our vectors here. our cactuses, sorry. Scale them down to fit. And let's zoom in here. So I want them to have their, uh, their bottom sticking out from the blue object. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to merge them, Path and Union. I'll make them one object, and I'm going to press Shift and select the blue object, and then I'm going to center that. All right, uh, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to need three copies, so basically I'm going to use this cactus, these three cactuses, to punch a hole in all three of these colors. So I'm going to make three copies, Control-D to duplicate, Control D to duplicate again. So first copy, I'm gonna press shift and select the blue object, and then we'll go path and difference. Select the second copy, press shift, path, difference. And the final copy, press shift, path, difference. Okay, so that is it. That's the end of the tutorial. There are some things that are diff more difficult in uh, Illustrator to do, something like uh, roughen, for example, just to roughen the edges a little bit. And there's another one that I did, the corners. These are sharp corners versus um, 
Let's go back up here. It's these round corners that I made. So every little tiny bit adds a bit to your graphic. And you can see the roughen effect here. Uh, kind of adds to the the um, the feel, the overall feel of the graphic. So um, something to be aware of. It's just a little bit harder to design in uh, Inkscape and get the same effect. But you know, add a, add a little bit of text, uh, whatever you want, and uh, some texture that that really makes a graphic pop when you put it on a T-shirt. So uh, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.